Hi guys, it's Victoria and today this video is going to be about how I sprained my ankle for the third time, how um, like the healing process is, what I had to do and all that kind of stuff because I know you guys love my videos like with ankle tips and all that kind of stuff and in January if you, I don't remember if I really talked about it or not but I did sprain my ankle for the third time, was on crutches and everything. We're just going to start off with how this happened. <laughs> basically as some of you know I worked at a gymnastics place and I did like birthday parties and stuff like that and I also like taught some classes but I was working a birthday party and I stepped on the trampoline and jumped like one time just because the trampoline is fun and so I was you know like playing with the kids and stuff like that I jumped once and my ankle just kind of gave out on me and I fell down and then I was sitting down on the ground and um, I was like, I cannot walk. And they were like, ha 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 ha. Cause like they knew about my like ankle history and whatever. Cause when I started there, I was actually in a boot. So, but I was like, no, I like literally like can't walk. And so, um, one of the girls I was working with brought me ice. Basically, I just sat on the floor, iced my ankle for the rest of like the time we're in the gym. Then we went back to the party room for like cake, snacks, whatever. I sat in a chair with my ankle being iced and stuff like that. And then I texted my mom and I was like, um, I hurt myself. And she was like, what did you do now? And I was like, um, I think I sprained my ankle again. So she told me, she's like, do you need me to come pick you up? Like take you to the hospital or whatever? I was like, nah, dude. And I wanted to finish out my shift because I still had another party left, I think. Um, so I wanted to finish it out. And um, my mom was like, now you're coming home. And then my boss was like, now you're going home. And so I had to sign like the injury papers or whatever. I didn't want to go to the doctor because I just didn't feel like it. Because um, this was the third time this has happened. I'm pretty much a professional, if I want to say so myself. I put on my boot and I used one crutch because I didn't want to use two. So I just used one just so that I could have something to help. So I did this on a Saturday and I think on Monday I went to the doctor. So he had already seen my other two ankle sprains and he was like, God, what do you do now? That was that. Um, and then since I'm under 18, you have to have like either a parent with you or for, or for some places you can have a parent's consent to get an x-ray. So he had like pushed on my ankle in like the places where like if you have pain there, they can't rule out a fracture. So I had pain in those places. So um, he sent me over to the hospital to get x-rays. They called over there to make sure I could do it without being 18. And so all I had to do is call my mom. She had to give consent, blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, so then I got an x-ray. I was wheeled around in a little wheelchair, but then it came back, no fracture, nothing, just another sprain, just like normal. So as for the healing process, I was on crutches and in a boot, probably a about two and a half months so I sprained my ankle in like the end of January and then the first day I went without my crutch at school was March 16th which was the day before we went into quarantine so I knew that I'd only have a one day week so I decided to try it and it went fine and so over quarantine I stopped like wearing my boot as much and I was like starting to strengthen it a little bit going on walks and all that kind of stuff trying to like you know, strengthen it up and make it a little bit tougher. So for a while, it definitely sucked because I was on crutches and in the boot for so long and I really hated it. And like the second time I sprained my ankle, it I was only on crutches for like a few days, I think. And I wasn't in my boot for that long, but like working when I was wearing my boot was horrible because I couldn't use my crutch at work, so I had to just go in my boot. And it was so bad and I couldn't, like you're not allowed to sit down there. So I couldn't sit down and I just had to stand on my foot constantly and it hurt really, really bad. And yeah, it was horrible. So I would take Advil like every, you know, few hours, took like three, which it's a little much for my body weight. But I was told by my doctor that I'm allowed to do that because I was in that much pain. So that's what we had to do. I'm definitely not trying to promote like taking more medicine than you should or taking medicine if you don't need it um i'm just telling you my experience and my doctor did give me permission to take three advil so now i am definitely getting better and i am going on walks without a boot without a brace nothing like that um i still can't run and i can't jump but 
We're definitely getting there. I still have pain when I go on walks, but I mean, it's definitely getting stronger and getting better. And we actually just got me a new ankle brace because um, I'll be hiking on my vacation, which, see, this goes up on the 3rd. I'll be leaving for vacation on the 6th, but I'll be hiking probably. So we got an ankle brace for both my ankles, actually, just so that we can protect my other one too, because that one's also weak. But yeah, I'll show you the ankle brace. So this is the one that we actually just got. The other one's in my car, because I had it on the other day. But it's different than my other one was, because my other one was like really worn down and like gross, so we got new ones. Um, but this one you put on, you lace it up, and then you pull these straps to where, like, would be tight on your foot. And then this one goes, like, up, over, and around, and you do the same thing as the other one. It's kind of weird. I was really confused at first, but... And so now I wanted to talk about physical therapy because that is what I'm currently doing. Um, I have a few different exercises that I have to do. Um, and obviously because of the whole pandemic situation, I wasn't able to actually go to the doctor. So my, like the place that I go to the doctor offers like virtual stuff for obviously the situation we've got going on. So I did virtual physical therapy for a while and sorry my brother's slamming doors. Anyway, now I'm going to show you a few of the exercises that I've been doing for my physical therapy and I also have this like jump thing to help me be able to jump and run and stuff like that but so I have a few different types of exercises. Some of them are for like my upper body and stuff too so that I don't, I'm not so like loose. So yeah, but right now I'm going to show you the specific ankle ones that they gave me. First, I've got this one and we just point... And then there's also, you go this way, pull your ankle this way. A lot of times I have this attached to something. And then there's also one where you go. You have it this way and you pull your ankle that way. And then there's also one where it's like on something like this and you pull your foot back. Then I'm gonna show you one more therapy thing then that this one is one that I have a lot of trouble with be like this and touch the ground so clearly I'm not very good at that one but I'm definitely getting better at it every time I do it Before this video ends I just want to use my platform to say that black lives matter and we really need I mean like the stuff that is going on right now is crazy it's I mean the fact that we still have racism in this country and all that kind of stuff, I mean, it's just horrible. Um, and the fact that we have police that are in it for the wrong reasons is also just absolutely disgusting. Um, there are good police out there um, that are, you know, not racist and all this kind of stuff, but fact that some of them are really bad is horrible so I just wanted to spread awareness I know there's a lot going on right now but I just wanted to say my part um so yeah thank you guys for watching so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and you don't want to miss one and if you have any other ankle questions or videos you want about my ankles or whatever let me know in the comments and I will most likely do it